Hello everyone, this is One Stupid Gamer and welcome back to Indigo Park. Now I said last time that I was done with this game until Chapter 2 released, but recently Unique Geese, the creator of the game, has released new content in a huge update. I'm not talking just bug fixes. I'm talking about a big overhaul to the main game itself. So today I'm going to look over those. Now this will not be a full playthrough of chapter one again because duh, I already did that on my channel. So if you wanna check that out, check out the original video because this this is not gonna be a playthrough. I'm gonna be very much speed running this and seeing the things I missed and see what's new about this new update. So without further ado, let's jump right in. And here we go. As, as you can see, the model right off the bat is different. It is underhanded instead of overhanded. And the park is still closed, but hey, collectibles. I am going to try my best to collect every remaining collectible in this game. Here's Finley here. Now I'm basing all these off of memory, so I will not know if I'll be able to get them all. So we'll see. Hey, Ramley. And welcome to Indigo Park. Okay, so I'm back. Once again, I'm not doing a full playthrough of this again. I'm speed running. I'm gonna be skipping through r most of Rambly's lines. Like, hey buddy, come here, come here. Oh my gosh, he got me again. Anyway, um, anyway, this won't be a full playthrough as I said. I'm gonna be skipping through most of it. Anything new that shows up, I will be showing. And of course, where all the collectibles are, I will also be showing. You get to be the first person to try our turn on the generator mini rambly venture. Have fun. And if my face is red, I kind of had some spicy food before this. Probably a bad idea because I might shit myself. Well, I don't know. I know all the scares this time, so we'll see. Ah, the indigo violet compact. Ah, here's rambly. Okay, here's Molly. Every guest needs a critter cup that will allow you access to reserve areas, charge payments to your room, and wear a critter cup. I think there's some in the gift shop. Head in there and I'll get you set up. Whoa, okay. That was new. That was Molly McCall. I don't know if you guys heard that, but I clearly heard her. Whoo, that is freaky. I don't know if that's an addition or if that was in the original and I didn't notice. Your very own critter cup. Oh, new, new sound effects have been added. That also doubles as a pedometer, art monitor, and moon ring. Data disclosure agreement included. Whoa! Okay, that's cooler. That's cooler. It's way more freaky. Ugh. Still don't like the zombies. Heh. <laughs> that's funny. Okay. Sheesh, Rambly a bit early. I, I swear, I know all the scares now, I swear. Okay, so I'm back. A little fun fact about this area. I acknowledged it in my video, but didn't really because I didn't know what was going on. But the uh, founder of Indigo Park here, he actually does follow you. So I he, I was acknowledging that he was looking at me. He literally was, he follows you. Even if you walk behind him, he turns his head like an owl. It's freaky <laughs> to say the least. Like, look, see? Oh, never mind. I guess they fixed that. I was thinking, because I got that evidence from a beta testing video. So that may have been fixed in the beta. Oh, hey, hello, hello there, buddy. And there was the figurine, which I did find in my original video. Yeah, this is one of the areas that look decisively dis Hi, different. Test, buddy. Looks like the park is going through some renovations. For the inconvenience, your Rambly Tuesday discount will be three percent off. Why not celebrate this great deal with a ride on my railroad? To test your sleuthing skills, I'll let you find this one all by yourself. Haha. Uh -huh. All right. Yeah, this place is definitely different. So I'm showing this off. The train station area looks amazing compared to what it previously looked like. And it has music now. So isn't that nice? Speaking 
of stuff nearby. Oh, that's new. That's new. Hey, Molly! <laughs> yes, so I wasn't seeing things in my original video. Molly was there. So I wasn't seeing things. She actually was there. I thought I was being paranoid at the time, but apparently not. All right, I don't think I missed any collectibles so far. Let's ride this railroad. And enjoy this. Well, unless there's anything new, then I'll be enjoying this and you guys will just be jump cutting. It's oh yeah, here's another thing I missed. Molly McCaw is right there. You sure are, Mo. Why you only crashed into six bars this week? I missed her barely in my original video, but I was more focused on Molly being a pilot and making pilot jokes in the original video. My bad. It's as blue as me. Here's another thing I missed in the original. Ocean Odyssey currently closed for repair. That was Molly McCall again. And hey, Molly! Okay, another collectible is these rambly ears here. And hi, Molly. Oh, I missed her. Shit. Well, she's back there, believe me. All right. Oh, the, you don't have to open the gate now. Interesting. So what do you think? Pretty fun, right? Now you know all about my friends and Lloyd. Yeah, this area so looks completely out? different now. Definitely more themed. I love it. Love the theming. <laughs> this figurine now exists. It's really funny because there's now Indigo Park merch. And the creator said he was going to hold off on merch, but that ended very quickly but i'm very happy about that because i really wanted merch for this game because i loved it i already have a rambly plush here's a picture of him all right here's one of the other things added there is now a cat here oh i didn't notice you turn off the flashlight you put it away but anyway you can also pet the cat so isn't that nice anyway for the real reason i'm here Next collectibles here, but I also collected it in my original video. And here's the golden rambling plush. Oh, it looks different now, but I also collected it in my original video. So it's not surprising that I pick it up this time as well. This here is an information Okay, I think I I think I went a different route than the developer intended because Rambly was supposed to say, "Hey, buddy, come here." But anyway, uh, yes, 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 I am on. All right, I know where every collectible is now because I know where the remaining are. So I'm gonna go have Ramble talk about the rest of them. Let's start with this souvenir cup. Ooh, that's a Rambly cup. Nothing beats the taste of fresh rambleberry juice drunk directly out of my plastic, lifeless head. All right. When I was a kid, they used to have these free re unlimited refills on these things. I once drank so much bird up that I got sick, throw up, threw up while riding rooftop races. That poor kid behind me. All right. The Raction figure. It's the all new Rambly the Raccoon Raction figure available at your local toy store. It's cool to see that there are some still some mint condition ones still in the park. Oh, oh, I got this. I know the commercial by heart. Wow, it's the unlimited edition Rambly the Raccoon Fraction figure. Push him down and he jumps. Push him up and he doesn't. Only $19.99 at your favorite toy store. All right. Gold Rambly plush. So wait, there, are, there were so many... There were so money-hungry that they just recolored Rambly and called it a product. Kind of lazy, don't you think? Wow, is that a limited edition gold Rambly plush? Parents were fighting tooth and nail for those things when they came out. Seriously, our employees had to clean up so many stray teeth and nails. Hard to believe there was all that demand for a regular Rambly plush we just blasted with gold spray paint. All right, Molly plush. I remember when my mom took us to the parks one summer. Her favorite was always Molly. So when they first opened the new Molly meet and greet in Jetstream Junction, there we were some of the first in line. And a lot of people have been theorizing that these meet and greets are the costumed characters that you are fighting in this game. Oh, a Molly plush. She 
Alyssa always been my best friend. Did you know she builds planes in her landing pad at the park? And then she crashes them. She's so talented. Ugh. Sky, to uh, answer what you were talking about when you got this. Yeah, I would not get along with Molly. Doesn't stop her from being my favorite. All right, Finley Plush. The sea serpent always kind of freaked me out. Me too, man. I loved aquariums and fish, but the size of him always made me feel uneasy as a kid. You found my buddy Finley. You know, he's really shy. Like, too shy. Like, obnoxiously shy. But he's got a good heart. I hope you get to meet him someday. I know I'm going to be meeting him. Uh... Lloyd Plush. I feel like as a kid, Indigo used Lloyd a lot more. He was always one of my favorites. Ew, Lloyd. And that's it. Well, are you surprised though? Rambly Plush. Ah, there's my buddy. Kind of feels like Rambly's oh, has a whole empire now, being the main man of Indigo and all. Yeah, a closed down park. He's definitely rolling in it. Congratulations! You found me! Don't I look adorable? And then the Rambly Ears. I remember watching these old DVDs that Indigo would send to your house when you booked a reservation. They always advertised the biggest gift shops and made all the silly merchandise look so fun. My dad promised me he'd buy me a pair when we went. Rambly Ears? Those used to fly off the shelves. That pair is pretty damaged though. Keep your eyes peeled. There's gotta be at least one more mint condition set out there somewhere. Like a yard sale. <laughs> All right, well, that's it for the collectibles so far. I'll see you guys when there's something new. Hey, Molly. <laughs> I love that scare. And hey, Lloyd. All right, let's begin this place. Hey, Lloyd. Lloyd? Oh my gosh. Hey, man. <laughs> I thought he appeared up sooner than that, so... Whoopsie. Ugh, these noises. They always get me. Even when I know I'm not in actual danger, because you can't actually die to Lloyd at this part. He does not chase you in any fashion. Oh, this animation's different. Nice. I like it. I like it. I like it. I... Oh, it made it way more... Turn the flashlight on. It made it more clear he went this way. That's cool. All right. I'm at Molly's landing pad. Well, not quite, but... If you take a left here, which I did not in the original video, you will see... This collectible. Yoink. And of course, if we take a detour, we can play... Rambly Rush here, where we can get the Rambleberries. Now, there is also something interesting I want to show off in this game itself. Ah. All right. Well, I missed it, unfortunately, because I made it to Molly. I was, I thought there was one more area before you fought Molly. Well, it doesn't matter because once I defeat Molly here, the game is over and I can't return. However, if you go down one of the pits in this game, there is a little secret of Molly McCall's sprite here being in a cage. That's what I wanted to show, but I missed it because I was being overconfident with the level design. So future me put up a picture of it right here. Uh, so sorry I missed it. Let me beat Molly McCall and then I'll meet you guys at the landing pad. I lied. Let me pick up the Rambleberry. That's what you get for completing the game as one of the collectibles. Okay. And Molly's landing pad definitely does look different. The cubes have been replaced with propellers. There's actual balls outside the ball pit. So that's really neat. Now, before I move on to actually finishing the puzzle, which technically I could finish it. Well, I wanna see if there's anything new. So I do want to notice I, I want to note one more thing about this game I didn't I failed to mention in my original playthrough and that's the soundtrack the soundtrack to this game is really good and I'm really mad at myself I didn't comment on it in the original because 
I love this soundtrack. Uh, I have a favorites playlist on Spotify. You can listen to the soundtrack on Spotify, by the way. And some of the songs are in my favorites uh, playlist. But anyway, I am going to go inside Molly's lolly lolly pad. You. Whoa, that was weird. Okay, that was a glitch. Um. Anyway, <laughs> lolly pad. I can't believe I just said that. Anyway, as you know. Yeah, this place is pretty different. Molly appears here a lot. Here she is. Fun fact, she actually goes to the trampoline area over there and jumps off into the ball pit. That's where she ends up. I might be just show this entire area because it looks completely different. Molly's, of course, also up here. I think Unique Geese wanted us to go to the right first instead of the left because it's kind of weird that Molly teleports here, but it's whatever. There she is. Hey, girl. There's some blood there too. Freaky. All right, let's continue. Yeah, so far this is pretty much the same. There are a few design changes, which are really nice. Gives more theming. It, I like it a lot more because it's definitely themed to Molly McCall now. I, I feel like in the original, the landing pad could have been any character's area, but now it is clearly hers and I really like that. Okay, yellow circle, red star. Yeah, all the balls are now blue. I just realized that, okay, Kagan, you need to work on phrasing, but they are blue now. <clears throat> um. All right, anyway, yellow circle, red star. I actually forgot the combination, so I couldn't have remembered it in there. I think it's green triangle and then blue star as well. Yeah, green triangle. Anything different around here? No. I do like this because it gets you used to how confusing Molly's chase is going to be without giving you a threat. Because Molly, of course, can't catch you here. The only time you can die in this game, Blue Star. The only time, besides, hey Molly. Um, the only time that you can die in this game is if Molly McCall catches you in her chase. So yeah, it's really nice that you can get used to the weird platforming physics before Molly starts chasing you. Like even if you even if you, ah, oh shoot, it was yellow circle. Even if you, uh, like, die to the ball pit, like I did in my original video, green triangle and blue star. Um, even if you, gosh, let me finish my sentence. Even if you die to the ball pit, it just respawns you back to where you were. So you're given a safe environment before Molly comes after you which is really nice. I like it when games do that because I hate it when horror games give you a, a threat with like unnatural like physics and and just and they but you don't have time to practice it. I, I feel like Poppy's Playtime Chapter 3 was guilty of that a lot. And whoa, hello. This is very different. Huh. Oh, do you not have to open it anymore? Huh. Oh, no, you do. It's just right there. I, I like that better. I like that better. Okay, that was another glitch. Anyway, here... Oh, this place is a lot dirty. Molly... Oh, interesting. Anyway, here's another thing I haven't showed off. Oh, that's a good fake out. Dying to Molly McCall. Hey! <laughs> that is Molly McCall's jump scare. <laughs> and that is her death screen. <laughs> it's actually, that's actually a new death screen, by the way. The original looked like this. Yeah, definite improvement. All right, anyway, I'm going to do this chase for real, but you guys are going to watch it because I do have some things I do want to say about this chase that I didn't get to say because I was terrified in the original. Okay, so I love this chase. It is brilliant. I love the music. This is one of my favorite songs in the entire game. In the entire game. It's called Barnstorming or Airplane. Future Me put it up. Um, yeah, this chase is well done. Molly goes through there. Um, 
and the music is amazing and it's intense like my heart is still beating and i know the correct route just shows how well designed it was like i am scared right now and i know that i'm very likely just gonna survive this but it's it's really crazy to me how well designed it is oh. I feel like I'm walking slower. Does it feel like that? Anyway, but, uh, run, Kagan, run. Uh, there's another collectible right here. Yeah, that one can be easy to miss. Um, go into vents. Yeah, I'm safe because the vents are pretty easy. Um, but yeah, this chase is well done. Like I'm trembling right now. Like that just shows how well made it was like the music the action the view the intensity <laughs> rambly coming to the rescue it's it's a good chase oh it's red oh that's so cool oh that's so cool oh it's that's so cool what does molly look like oh that is awesome that is such an improvement and choppies <laughs> But my heart is still beating. It is a fantastic chase. It is a fantastic chase. 10 out of 10. The chase is the best part of the chapter. Everything is built up towards the chase and it is worth it. It is worth it. And you can get faked out. Like Sky in his video, he died to her three times. Like it's hard if you don't know what you're doing. Like, I only got lucky because I saw her coming in a lot of the shortcuts. But if I didn't, I guarantee I would have gone down that first tube and died to her instantly. I guarantee you that's what would have happened. But it, it, it's a fantastic chase. I just really want to express my love for it. it. It's a fantastic part of the game. Anyway, anyway, gonna... Skip through this and the get the remaining uh, the collectibles base. and meet you the guys there. Task. Uh oh, that Rambling's Wranglers room is only accessible by Royal Wranglers. Maybe one day you'll Yep, that's where Retro Lloyd is. is. And that's now? the final collectible. I'm pretty sure I got them all. Gosh, I hope so. Yeah, the one I found in Molly's area, in Molly's chase, was the Rambly raccoon head. That's where it is. Oh, this is new. Nice little new office here. Huh. Don't know why they added it, but it's nice. Bit more flavor, I guess. Yep, I got every collectible. So now let's hear what Rambly has to say on all of them. For starters, the Rambly head. Whoa, freaky. This must have been one of those mascot costumes they used, at the, they used to use at the park. In a weird way, I'm kind of glad they retired these. Whoa, where'd you find that? I've never seen anyone wearing one. Pretty snazzy. Ooh, looks like there's an audio recording tagged with costume in my database I've never noticed before. Let's listen, let's listen. Hey, Jackson, you hear about the new mascots? Yeah, think it'll put us out of a job? I think so. <laughs> Old, sport, and right after we got this damn raccoon costume. Man, <laughs> screw this place. <laughs> I say we get our asses out of here and go straight to Vegas. Aw, oh, come on. They didn't even document the Indigo inventory ID for the costume. I was really looking forward to that. What a useless recording. Deleted. Okay. That one is really funny. Like, I remember, like, watching Snow's video of the voice acting in that, but man, that is pretty bad. But, but I think that is a reference, by the way, to the Finance at Freddy's fan game Day Shift at Freddy's because they say old sport and they talk about going to Vegas. It has to be a freaking reference to Dave in that game. <laughs> All right, Poodle Plush. It's a weird poodle plush. It doesn't seem to be an indigo product. Sure doesn't look like any characters you see in the part. Maybe a child left it behind? Hey buddy, did you dig that out of the lost and found? Or was it in the trash? No surprise I guess that our park would dispose of a non-indigo brand toy. I suppose he'd make playtime special for a child with poor taste though. Oh damn, Rambly, throwing some shade. All right, Rambleberry. I got this one, but I never had Rambly talk about it. So that's my fault. This thing popped out of the Rambly Rush arcade cabinet. How is this even possible? Do you think it's edible? Whoa, where'd you get that? 
Huckleberries are my favorite! Oh, if only I could jump out of the screen and take a big bite! Don't eat it! Maybe I'll be able to one day! Yeah, Rambly, let's do that. Okay, and... The raccoon ear... Wait, no, the rambly ears I did. Um, Was it? Oh, it was just retro oily plush because everything else I checked. Uh, I don't get why we even have those. Uh, oh, I forgot to read the description. Boy? I'll do that. It's because he's the loudest. I can be loud too. Where's my limited edition throwback plush? Where's Molly's? Where's Finley's? Keep this mistake to a child and they'll cry. <laughs> One of my favorite rambly lines. Anyway, it, I always found it weird when companies make merch that's supposed to look old. Lloyd obviously has an older look in the classic Indigo cartoons, but I'm not sure it looked like this. I guess nostalgia sells. All right. Anyway, going to go over here to Oceanic Odyssey and end the chapter, but that's the new update to Indigo Park. Again, sorry this was a wow, short video. I'm sorry this was a short video, man. but... Again, I played the original. Come if you want to watch me play this, this watch the original. The but here's what Please pissed a lot class. of my friends off. Really know what hey, Finley. Okay, I did it. Can you guys shut up about it now? I'm just kidding. I love you guys. Um, But yeah, that's Indigo Park. Once again, revisited. Hey, now, okay? for real this time, kind of I am done with this game Demon until moment? chapter two comes out. I cannot fine. wait. I, I am so totally hold, sold on <laughs> hold i'm totally sold on indigo park and i'm glad you guys are too judging by indigo park being so a very popular video from me anyway i'm gonna enjoy this song but you guys heard it in the original also the soundtrack gets kick-ass um and yeah that's indigo park so if you like this video make sure you press that like button and subscribe and tell your friends this is one super gamer signing out Indigo Park There is a stark contrast to everything I know